How's it guys? Um, I decided to make a build video of uh, L29 that I'm building in quarter scale size. Um, I found a flat uh, plan on uh, a CAD website that I downloaded and then I decided to make uh, three millimeter formers and ribs and uh, sort of make the whole airy fit you know and slot into each other so that's basically half of the design that I've done um, I sort of I'm gonna build one side and um, then build the other side and then join the two together so the first side has been done and um, it came out pretty cool um, I'm going to just put uh, this side uh, on the other side so that we can have a look at what it looks like together there you can see it's about three mil I'm building two halves um, with the formers slotting into the flat formers and then I will join the two halves the ducting is going to be quite challenging I think we'll have to make a mold and vacuum mold the ducts as it's going to sort of give us some strength as well when we join the two halves together so I'm just going to put these two sides together to see um, what the area will look like once it's been built and joined together this plane will fly on a 12 kg swivel and uh, I'm hoping to get it flying at about say 15 kilograms uh, the walker that I built came in just over 10 so this is slightly bigger I'm hoping that uh, I can complete it like 15 maybe 16 kilograms I'm still doing some work on the design of the horizontal stab um, I don't need to finish that uh, at the moment as I can carry on with the build um, and then the the, vert, the the horizontal will screw onto the vertical there you can see the duct going in lots of work still to do on the elevators in terms of drawing as well but there you can have a look and see what it looks like I'm pretty excited to get this airy together So there's just a nice view of the of the structure of the L29. Um, I'm gonna have the servos mounted internally um, with the horns coming out and then have like an outer linkage. Like I said with the horizontal stab, I'm still doing some design work. Um, the rudder has sort of been done. We need to laser cut the, the, some parts still and then finish the design on the horizontal step. But the main um, sort of fuselage and wings are complete. So then uh, we're going to cut some flat formers um, so that we can just start laying them out and putting this jet together. As you can see there, those are the flat formers that we did and thereafter we did the ribs if you want to call them or the formers and I started putting it together it's quite nice to build it like this because all the parts slot into squares that are made and it makes you not have to measure where you put your formers while you're building it as it just slots into the little squares so with this uh, half I started to add the stringers and sheeting as I'm gonna build this side and sheet it um, totally before I remove it from, from the table um, that will make sure that when I remove it everything's straight and it can't flex or move with the hawker I did it differently where I added the sheeting afterwards and it created a little bit of a challenge, you know, making sure the area is straight. So on this one I'm keeping it pinned to the table until the area is sheeted 
and then uh, at least I know it's straight um, with the sheeting keeping it you know in a position where it can't really flex here's just some more footage of sheeting going in I managed to do quite a bit over the weekend so I'm quite happy with uh, how the sheeting came out looks really really good um, after the entire area has been sheeted with this 2 mole balsa we will sand it down and uh, we'll do a layer of um, glass that will provide a lot of strength and then we can sand it again and make sure we get a nice um, spray job on this plane as I won't be covered with uh, or a cover like with the hawk like the hawker was um, we'll glass it and sand it and spray it nicely here's just a little time lapse that I made of the last bit of sheeting that I did before the plane can come from the table um, I'm quite happy with how it came out it looks really good there's not a lot of sanding left as the pieces um, when I join them I make sure that there's minimal sanding involved when um, we remove it and it's completely sheeted on the one side and that's the first half of the R29 um, structure basically completely sheeted I'm going to leave the tail bit open if I want to uh, you know sort of get to the tailpipe easier and some areas around the wings and ducting I'm going to leave open um, I've still got some glue to add and I will fill and sand but that's basically what it looks like um, thanks for watching the video part 2 will be coming soon